Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Where today guys, I'll be showing you how to customize your Zendix help center. So guys, the first thing that you actually need to do is go to uh, zendix.com and then when you did that, you just need to go and log into your profile. If guys, you do not have one, you can always go and register to Zendix. But guys, if you do not know how to do that, you can always go to our YouTube channel where we have plenty of how to Zendix videos where you can see how you can do this. Now guys, that we did that got that out of the way let's see what we actually have in front of us so here we have the get started page where you can go get started and create your all of your things so basically you can go uh, create your tactic system agent productivity messaging and live chat the help center reporting and analytics apps and etc etc also here you can go and see your everything uh, of uh from on your profile so you can see your unsold tickets uh as you can see they're all here you can go here and see uh, who your customers are so and basically get them your mails their time zones and everything that's updated and that you created and put in here you can go here and see the organizations you can see the reporting here uh, which is now a powered by explorer so you can see the zendix support here and then the zendix guides and talks talks and chat etc etc also we have the uh uh here features and system updates that you can go and click on to update your system uh, now in the top right corner you have some options as your profile where you can see here but now guys let's see how to customize your zendix help center well you just need to go on the home screen here and click on the help center which is and then you just need to check out your help center by clicking here then you just need some time to pass just a second when this button here when you get to click on got it now you can go and do everything in your help center so you can you see the order status about products everything here can be changed then when you do that you can just go and hit publish with, and you can edit your code also so guys that is everything for this video i hope that you found it informative if you did don't forget to like this video share it subscribe to the channel put the notifications on and i'll be seeing you in the next video bye guys